Welcome to Viscera Cleanup Detail, House of Horror Edition. We're going to be cleaning up murder scenes in celebration of Halloween. And I also find this a very relaxing and fun game to play. So let's get started. Start assignment. Solo. And we're just going to jump into it. Start work. Loading. It's a very bloody loading screen. Okay, briefing. We're a janitor. We're 20. The harrowing events that transpired here are certainly tragic and of truly bizarre nature, but this must not hinder your work in any way. Blah, blah, blah. Blah, blah, blah. Discretion is paramount. So what we've got to do is basically clean up a party scene where uh, it's like your standard horror movie. A bunch of kids were having a party. There was probably some sex involved and that made killers show up and you can already see the uh, signs of crime in the garage here and you know it's Halloween because there's pumpkins everywhere and there's murder scene tape that's a, that's a thing murder scene tape but let's go ahead and jump right into it we're gonna go see if anyone's home anyone here and there are people here I just don't know if any of them are alive check the kitchen for sanitary conditions this is a very unsanitary condition no one should work in a kitchen like this and then we have the backyard which you know it, it's gonna be a mess too it, it has to be look at these pumpkins pumpkins strewn everywhere and in uh, many of these scenario games, there you have an incinerator to throw all your gore into. Now we just have this chipper shredder thing which shoots everything into the neighbor's yard. And the neighbor can deal with it. And uh, you will notice that you leave bloody footprints everywhere you go. And those have to be mopped up as well. So you, you want to find the most efficient way to clean and that is just shooting blood everywhere so what I like to do is basically just do my cleanup get all, get all the bodies out of the way because you're gonna make a crap ton of mess grinding these bodies up ah uh, this is so fitting for Halloween what horrific tragedies await us in the basement well there's a body my guy is very nonchalant about this too he's he's a custom he's uh no biggie. Oh, I'm also uh, recording from the common room of the uh, Hufflepuffs. Trying out my chroma key. Which, uh, it's not perfect. It's not perfect. I gotta get the lighting a little more even. A little homogeneous lighting. Oh, this chair has to be righted nothing like a crooked chair. You can give me bodies all day long. Crooked chairs, not having it. Not having it. Well, that one. Just until I get this body out of the way. Which, it is such a pain moving these around because the bodies just smack into everything as you go. So it doesn't do you a whole lot of good to clean up the bodies before you start mopping. Because there will be blood. And there will be tears. Because every time I sling blood all over my house, it makes me cry. Not, not that that happens. It's... No. I do not have a bloody, messy house. So the, um... This is projected to take, uh... This is a four-hour-long map. I don't know. Last time I played this was about three and a half hours. But I'm really good at it. But, um... All that footage was pretty much unusable garbage, so I'm trying again. So I have played this map probably half a dozen times since it came out. Which was last Halloween, or the Halloween before. Grinding up skeletons. And I don't know why, but it seems more disrespectful to grind up a skeleton than a whole person. And I, I don't know why that is. One of the skeletons even has like a Native American headdress thing going on. So, 
Yeah, there was some really, really weird stuff going down in this house. Not to mention, um, I think they were doing a, a little uh, three-way action with the kids here. Because I actually uh, collected all the bodies, and, oh, there's a headless cheerleader. Pardon me. And there were 18 uh, football players and nine cheerleaders. Now that's two football players, two a cheerleader, and uh, various assorted heads. Uh, I didn't count the heads and the headless bodies, but I would imagine they match up. It just it just makes sense, and this game's all about logic. They wouldn't put a, an extra head in there. Well, they might. They might. There could be heads. Another reason this is my favorite map is because there are no bullet holes. Many of these are like aliens and space marine shootouts and you gotta repair the bullet holes with a laser welder and it's it's tedious. This the knife oh my god, it's in his well, his mouth is closed, but you you get the point. You see what's happening here, right? Yeah. Yeah, we're just gonna throw you in the wood chipper and it'll be like it never happened. There. Secrets are gone. Well, they're in the neighbor's yard. In in pieces and slurry. There's there is a, a college kid slurry in the neighbor's yard. But other than that, um here's Johnny. Do you get that ref do you get do you get that reference? And then there's this kid. Um was he... Oh, God. I'm getting blood everywhere. Was he doing the Bloody Mary thing in front of the mirror? Because he thought he'd get the Bloody Mary drink? I don't know. I'm just going to start hucking kids down the stairs. Which is generally, you know, it's a good thing. Checking out the bathroom here. Seeing how nice it is. I don't know why there was a cheerleader in the shower while he was doing whatever. But now she's downstairs. I like the body physics. There's there's good body physics. And skeleton in the closet. See, what is this? What, what is this? I can't close the door while he's in the way. So I'm still playing around with my recording setup, uh, figuring out what I want to do. I was using Open Broadcaster for everything, but the uh, picture quality was just terrible. It was unusable. I don't know if it's because the uh, the scene's kind of dark in here and there's a lot of movement. Oh, hello. But yeah, I had uh, three and a half hours of footage and uh, it's, it's deleted now. It's in the recycle bin. And I might even set the bin on fire. So I'm gonna try this again. Um, and hopefully it turns out better. But, you know, I want to start getting more movies up here, and the only way to get better at doing the movie thing is to make the movie thing. So this is, uh, me making the movie thing. It's not great yet. No. No, I, I can admit it. I can admit it. It's not great. But we're gonna get there. Yes. Yes, practice makes perfect, and perfect is practical. What? Okay, what do we get? We got the, this is why you don't Ouija. I like this candle. Yes. This is why you don't Ouija. This, oh, it's a Vuja board. <laughs> Vuja. See, you crazy kids should have just been down here or up here having sexual relations and cheap beer. No, let's uh, break out the Vuja board. I don't know. If I had a, a sexy cheerleader alone in an attic, I wouldn't be playing Vuja. I'm. That's just me. I don't know. Maybe he's burned out on sex. Where did the other body go? Did I get stuck? Yeah. Yeah, he's up there. Okay. Anyways, if you've had so many sexy cheerleaders in your life that... Uh, board games become your preferred means of entertainment. I, I I, envy you. Teach me. What are your secrets? 
Okay, and I get that this is a Halloween themed game, so that's why we've got the murder scenes, but what practical person has uh, this on their wall? It, it kind of breaks the immersion a little bit. Unless, unless the killer brought that with him. I love that idea. A serial killer who redecorates houses so it just makes you question the integrity of the people that live there. Now if that starts happening, if there, you start seeing news reports of uh, the redecorating killer, this, this is not an admission of guilt. It wasn't me. I didn't do it. I, I wouldn't have the energy to serial kill or mass kill. I, I tell you, it does the, the fortitude to murder. And, well, I mean, and a lot of those guys try to hide their crime. They don't just leave the bloody mess. But um, to be an effective serial killer, God, that's just so tedious. Who, who could do that? Not me. Not me. I just uh, experience uh, killing in video games where I can do it from the comfort of the Hufflepuff room with uh, great, uh, great Aunt Hufflepuff over the fireplace there, whoever that is. I'm, I know that's, that's a person. I'm sure it's part of the canon. I don't, I don't know. I'm just doing the Hufflepuff thing because the Pottermore quiz told me I'm a Hufflepuff in any Indian. I think that's what they're called, Hufflepuff in any Indians. Pretty sure. So, as you can see, we've uh, we've disposed of quite a few bodies already. Getting these cleaned up here, taking out the trash, of which there is actual trash that needs to be cleaned. Lots of <clears throat> cheerleaders. I'm dropping them, letting the bodies hit the floor as that uh, song prescribes. And just because this is annoying me, I got to get the one that's hanging here. Uh, 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 there we go. There we go. Yes. So today was an adventurous day of uh, tweaking my setup, doing some research on uh, I needed proper video editing software. I've been using the uh, the Movie Maker Studios, which just comes with Windows. Eh, nah, nah, mm, doesn't get the job done. Not not in any useful way. So, uh, settled on the, uh, Sony, or they sold it to Vegas, movie, I can't remember what it's called, movie, it's not movie maker, movie studio, 13, platinum edition, which was, uh, at Best Buy for $60, and I said, I, I can come off $60, you know. I'm a, I'm a big time uh, janitor that cleans murder scenes. I got sixty dollars to, to throw around on editing software. Um, so I go to Best Buy, um, and I was there early. I had to sit in the parking lot ten whole minutes as I waited for them to open because I was so anxious to get the software. I I was like I gotta, I gotta, go, I gotta go get it. Gotta go get it. So I go in the store, I find the abysmal software section, which is an aisle. It used to be a lot more than an aisle. I don't know if you remember Best Buy from 10 years ago, but they are a very different animal now. So I am uh, didn't have to look long because there's so few titles for sale. See what I'm looking for. My nose itches. I think that someone wants to kiss me. I don't know who. They must have confused me for someone else. Um, $100. It's it's labeled for $100 on the shelf. And I know that that's not right. It's 60 on the website. So I pick up the box and I go over to the counter and I'm like, hey, I want to buy this, but it's mislabeled. Uh, Rack says 100 it, The internet says it's 60 So I know what they got to do. They got to call a manager who does a beep boop on the computer to be beep boop and then uh, they can charge me sixty dollars for it no big deal so the guy goes to confirm the price online which is good practice and he's like oh sorry dude it's eighty he didn't say it like that exactly but, dude it's eighty dollars I'm like 
well, that's not right because I just looked it up online and it told me 60. And he said, well, it's Sunday and the price is, there's new sales on Sunday. Now, this software is like already, it's not new software. If you're putting it on sale, it's not like, a, oh my God, hurry up and get it for the next 24 hours. It's on sale because nobody's buying it because it's a few years old. So I wasn't happy. I said, I'm not going to pay an extra $20 because it took me any, a couple hours for you to wait for you to open and come get it. The guy said, I understand. So I'm on my way. And I come home and I figure I could look it up online, do a digital download for the same price. It's somebody is selling this software for $60. So I'm bopping around on the internet, bop it bop, boop it bop, can't find it. So I'm looking up alternatives. Well, what, what can I get for $60 that'll get the job done? not finding anything I mean this isn't the best software but it's it's in my price point and it does basically what I need to get me off the ground ah, drying out <clears throat> um, so I'm looking on the reddit forums I gotta tell you I've become a big redditor they are an incredibly helpful community and uh, someone mentions and this is on a post that's a year old that steam has it on sale for 30 bucks so I'm like, mm, okay, I'll go check out Steam. It could be on sale again, or I could find something else on sale there. It's still on sale for $30. So Best Buy could have sold me this software for $60, got greedy, I went and I, I bought it for $30. <laughs> that was a good story, wasn't it? That was a great story. Uh, moral of the story, Steam is amazing. And you should never hesitate to check with Steam if you're looking for something cheap. It didn't even occur to me because I just I only use Steam for video games. I can't think of uh, any software I've I've gotten from Steam until today. And uh, Steam, I love you. I love you, Steam. So I'm uh, I'm pretty excited how that's gonna go. So if this internet uh, is uploaded, or if this video is uploaded to the internet, that means it worked. If it's not uploaded to the internet, you'll never know. It'll be my secret for me to misery over. That's a sentence, words. There is blood on that wall. I have to make sure I don't forget it. Yeah, I... Um, if you don't do a thorough job cleaning up, you get in trouble with your boss. It's not a big deal, but, for, uh, you know, this is a game made for people with OCD. You don't spend four hours mopping up virtual blood if you don't care about doing a good job. I don't, I don't think you would. I think that's, that's the appeal. Make it clean. Everything clean. And uh, the viscera part just keeps it interesting. It's better than um, if you were just mopping uh, like a Kmart mop boy simulator. Oh my god, can I jump in here? And I did. I jumped into the shredder. Um, all is not lost though because... Boop! There we go. Should be able to just pick up where we left off as a different janitor. Yeah. Yep. Perfect. All right, so now we have to clean our own body up from the uh, the viscera, and there is no shortage of it. In addition to the house, there's also a couple of areas in the back there. Yeah, you can see. Yeah, you can see something back there. Oh, there's my old torso. Oh my God, there's my old torso. This hand. This, oh, what a pretty night it is for cleaning the visceras. Is anyone in here? And a lot of people have commented that in the other levels where you're cleaning up like from basically you're you're cleaning up the after mess of an FPS. And people have said that they should add the FPS element to this. So then there's like weapons and enemies. No, you're missing the point of the game if you think you should be killing anyone in here. That no. No, let, let me have my little OCD cleaning game without having to shoot anything. I can go at my own pace and feel good about the cleaning I've done. 
That's a really rad car. I believe this is a uh, a model from another game produced by the same studio, and that's why so much has gone into this. I mean, it seems like a lot of detail on this car for just being in a murder scene, but it has its purpose. And uh, there's a lovely mask. Can't put it on, so I'm just going to shred it. Like shredded wheat. And there's still hand. Oh my god, there was a. Alright. We've made some really good progress. We've shredded a lot of bodies. I'm going to get some buckets out of here. So. I think I'm going to cut this episode off here because this has been some minutes. And then I'm going to go ahead and. Uh, next episode, we're going to do some mopping. Yeah, mopping. We're going to mop the grass. I can I can already tell you're excited about it. So uh, if you enjoyed that, you're, you're going to love the next part. So, bye!